All right, guys, we got the old, new old backup fridge installed. It's down to about. Mm -hmm. are getting sizable. I'm gonna leave it plugged in overnight, make sure it works, and then we'll get at it tomorrow. Morning. It is Tuesday after Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend. And, uh, yeah, we had a good weekend. We got a little planting done in the garden. We'll show you that. Got the flower bed pretty much done. Just needs some mulch. It's Tuesday morning. Chores. Set up the fences and let the sheep out. They need some new pasture. So right about where Ella is, there's a row of blueberries going all the way down. And I mowed this as a slight buffer, so we'll run the fence there, which should keep them in this side. So the fence is all set up down to about there, but let me just look down here on the edge of the wood. It's not put up, so we're going to go put that up and then the sheep will be happy. Oh my god, it's like a rainforest back here. Yeah, it's totally like a rainforest. Give you a little uh, cinematic for an action. So over the weekend we did this. How are you feeling about this? Good. I like it a lot. You and mom put it together? Yeah, I just kind of can't wait for it to fill in a little. It's looking a little sparse, but it's definitely good. I think these are two different types of calendula. And then in the back we have sunflowers, chamomile, and then around these lupines there's some more seeds for next year. And then these are? Crocosima. Okay. It's a long orange little flower. And the strawberries are hitting Verasion. They're starting to come in. They're kind of small at the moment, but they should fill in over the next month and then bloom again. Because that's what they do. Yeah. We got our first two ripe strawberries yesterday. Oh my God, have I missed strawberries from here so much. They were so good. I refuse to eat any other strawberries now. So we planted out half of this bed behind me. I got this fertilized and tilled right before the rain. So I wanted to get the tomatoes in while we could. The end of the bed, just past Ella, is going to be peppers, and the one to her left will be peppers also. But they're still piquito. Yes. So our peaches have come in. This one has a ton. Might have to thin this tree a little bit. Yeah. It's a little too many close together here. But last year we had a heavy frost right as they were blossoming and no peaches. I think the blueberries look like they're doing good. Oh yeah. We have to net this up pretty soon. They're loaded this year. 
These are all larger blueberries. I yeah, they look really good. Yeah. That's great. I'll have to order the uh, top net. Look at what's growing in here. Oh, you know what came in? This little guy seated himself right in. What is it? I'm not sure if it's bachelor button or something else, but Comfrey's coming in too. It's got nice little bell flowers. A little bit of damage, but we'll pick some of that off for some compost tea. And the irises are in. And look at what also came in. Catnip. <laughs> yeah, it's everywhere. We used to want to plant this. Now it's a weed. <laughs> it seeds in absolutely everywhere. I still need to flip over this end of the peak and the ridge to put it together right so it looks like this side from last week. And uh, that's about it for the morning update. Yep. I think we're going to do some cleaning out of the animals today. Yeah, not terribly exciting. So no. I think it'll just be a maintenance day. It's still not cooled down. So I came down to the bakery this morning to do some cleanup before the weekend. And the dual fridge was not cooling. Still at like 42, 48 degrees, but I noticed the temperature was climbing. Went up and took this one apart and found that it was filled with ice. So I spent a good hour and a half cleaning it out, chipping it, melting it, thawing it out, getting rid of the excess water. Plugged it back in, let it run for like four hours and most it dropped was about 10 degrees. So it's gonna need to be serviced, but currently I am testing one of my old fridges and it already dropped from 66 down to 45 in about 10 minutes. So good thing I hung on to the extra fridge for five years because it looks like we're gonna need it. I'll do a bakery tour one of these afternoons and show you how to make some stuff if you guys are interested. I'll head out and uh, show you what I have been working on. Ella's practicing exercises for ski season. T minus six months. Six months. So we'll take a walk up to the barn and out to the gardens and take a quick look at it. Huh? Where are you going? We're going this way. So I've been taking the time with the rainy days to uh, get some of my disaster organized. It looks worse than it actually is but I've just been adding in little shelves and hooks and stuff like that. But that's all I've been up to in here. Out here is looking pretty good. These heads of lettuce are getting sizable. Two more weeks, they'd probably be ready to cut. Tomatoes are getting big. And the strawberries and the garlic are coming up. The strawberries don't even make it to the house. Ella just comes out and eats them, and uh, that's okay. Tomatoes have survived the rain. They're looking pretty healthy. And I think we showed you a couple days ago, but the sugar snap peas are coming up. The way this week's been going, I don't know if I'm gonna get anything done tomorrow. I do have to get supplies for the bakery and probably move those fridges, which sucks. But maybe, if it dries out, I can knock together the bed that goes down here at the end. We'll see what tomorrow morning brings, and uh, maybe we can get that one last bed done. All right, guys, we got the old, new old backup fridge installed. It's down to about 36 right now, so that's awesome. Just in time for baking tomorrow morning. So lucky I had it. I think it's about 10 o'clock. We are gonna go out and probably cut up and do the one four by four bed, try to finish off the raised beds.
Thurpo this and get this cleaned up for the raised bed to go on. I'm gonna torch the corner pieces and we'll be ready for assembly. Of course the sun goes in. Yeah. We were cooking a minute ago. Got some liquids, slice of pizza, in case you're wondering, pepperoni, bacon, sausage, banana peppers, red onion. It's good. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> you'll get a kick out of this. I'm sitting there going, why is my foot so hot? Yep, that's right. I melted stones into the bottom of my shoe doing that. Didn't even realize how hot the ground got. It's all right. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that, honestly. Almost dropped my pizza, that would have been worse. Yeah, my foot was really hot and I was like, God, why is my foot so hot? It didn't even dawn on me that I melted the sole of my shoe. Well, there were shoes. Must need protein. <laughs> Good cold. Honestly, what pizza isn't good cold? Seriously. Cheese. Cheese is not so good cold. It's all right. Well, we're gonna eat this, and we'll see you back putting that bed together. It's all ready to go. So. on a little pointed arbor to go in that 4x4 bed that's out there. It's got strung this cross brace, cut it, and then we can stand it up and put it together. It's a close one. She's snug. It's a good thing. The wind won't blow it out. All right. What do you think? I think it's good. I think it came out right. All right, guys, that's about all I think we got this week. I know it was only two days of work, but that's life. We're busy. Always in the